Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to module 7 in this course which covers the topic of security. And security is of course uh, nowadays a really important problem that we need to solve, we need to make sure that the, the system is secure. But we'll start in this module first of all discussing what security is compared to safety, which is another really important concept that often comes up. And it's easy to confuse the two, so that's why we start. So security uh, is all about a system being able to operate and being able to protect itself uh, against intrusion. So anyone intru intruding into the system, uh, and this can be accidental, you might just suddenly get a certain access that you shouldn't have, for example, but could of course be deliberate uh, someone actually trying to hack or uh, on purpose access the system or meddle with it. So that's security. And safety then is the, uh, is the property or the ability of a system to operate uh, without a catastrophic failure. Uh, and catastrophic failure here means that someone could get injured, there could be loss of life, there could be environmental impact, there could be a very large financial or economic impact. Uh, so anything that is somewhat catastrophic. So safety critical systems are very often, for example, uh, uh, tr passenger transport systems like cars, airplanes, railway, highly safety critical. But it could also be, for example, a power plant uh, if something goes wrong in the control, for example, in, in the worst case, maybe in a nuclear power plant, things could seriously go wrong. Uh, it could be some kind of oil refinery. If something goes wrong, you have an economic impact because the oil, for example, spills out. So there are a lot of options here uh, what could happen. So th this is the distinction and we will in general focus on the security aspect. So how do we protect our systems against uh, accidental or deliberate intrusion? Uh, it's important though to note that without security you typically don't have safety. So if you have a safety critical system which is insecure, typically there is no way to ensure that there is not a catastrophic failure. For example, if someone accidental, uh, accidentally is able to uh, intrude into the control system of, an, uh, of a power plant, that could have catastrophic consequences. So security is a prerequisite for safety. Uh, the other way around does not apply. So a, a system could definitely be uh, unsafe, there could be a catastrophic failure, but it is very secure. You cannot intrude, but things can seriously go wrong anyway. So that's the distinction here, but we'll focus on the security aspect. And uh, three things that we typically want to ensure if we talk about security in, in the context uh, of this course is we want to ensure the confidentiality. And that means that access to data uh, to assets is only possible by whoever should have access, not by others. Uh, we want to ensure the integrity of the system, and that means that the data is in a way correct, it can be relied upon, no one has modified anything. Uh, and we want to ensure the availability, so that we can actually access the system, it doesn't crash or anything in that direction. Now these are the three dimensions in uh, what we are looking at that we want to ensure. Um, there are different kind of threats that, that apply to this, so you can, have, uh, you can have different threats how to meddle with these. Uh, we will not cover them here in detail, they are on the slides though. So uh, for example data modification is of course something that might uh, apply to the integrity that we cannot rely on them anymore. Uh, in general, security, like other qualities, like performance, is very cross-cutting. So if you, in one part of your system, uh, have something that is insecure, this might apply to the entire system. So it, if the database, for example, is not protected against intrusion, the rest of the application could be extremely secure, very well protected, but it will probably not help you very much. So. Uh, Minor security flaws in part of the application can have drastic consequences uh, for the overall application. Uh, this is one dimension to look at security, confidentiality, integrity, availability. Uh, the other one is on what level do we look at security. And there we can, for example, talk about the security of the infrastructure. 
So for example, is the network secure? Uh, are the servers secure? Are they in a locked building and so on? Uh, or is anyone able to access that? So there is a story from a couple of years ago uh, from a company that did assessment, security assessment of power plants. Uh, and they looked at the software, they looked at the Wi-Fi and everything looked fairly okay. But then they drove around the power plant and they just found a, a network rack that was open and you could just plug in the cable. Uh, so that's an example of infrastructure security that is not given. Everything was protected but you could just plug in your cable and suddenly you had access to the network. So that's infrastructure security. Then there's application security which is mainly concerned with how do we actually program, how do we structure the system so that the application is secure. Um, and then there is also operation security. For example, while the system is running, how do we do the logging so that we can identify anyone trying to intrude or things like that. Now, this is a massive topic. So the, the course book alone has hundreds of pages on security. We will in this course mainly focus on application security. So what kind of design, architecture, programming principles, guidelines do we have that can make our application more secure. Uh, and again, there are lots of different ones you could look at here. There are, for example, for each programming language, there are specific guidelines, what you should and what you should not do. Uh, we will stay on a fairly abstract level. I will cover some examples for programming concepts that uh, maybe should be used, that are recommended, but we will not go into much depth here. Okay, so this is roughly what we'll do. And we'll dive now into the details of this module.